Hey people, Jason here, and recently SuperAce Software reached out to me and recommended I try their AI enhanced UPDF software. They said it'd be able to handle all my needs working with PDFs, and considering I interact with PDFs a lot, I agreed. Whether it's reading textbooks or writing lab reports for school, or signing contracts or writing scripts for my work here on YouTube, UPDF is supposed to have features that make every use of PDFs more convenient. UPDF is on every platform, Windows, macOS, Android, and iOS, so it has you covered as far as device compatibility goes, and the license actually extends across all platforms, so your purchase of UPDF on Windows would carry over to, let's say, your Android phone or iPad. To give you an abbreviated list of UPDF's functionality, you can view, annotate, edit, convert, sign, protect, and organize PDFs. But this video's main focus is actually going to be on UPDF's AI features that include summarize, translate, explain, and chat functions. So without any further ado, let's get into a demo on my computer showing off UPDF's various features. Let's start with AI features that utilize GPT-4. I'm going to use the script from one of my videos on the iPad Air 5 to demonstrate this. From the open file in UPDF, I'm going to click the UPDF AI button in the bottom right corner of the screen, click get started, then ask it to summarize the entire script. This video is 8 minutes long, but you can get the gist of it in seconds with this feature. You can see we get a breakdown of each section of the script and a short explanation for each key point the AI summary included. But you probably noticed, right after we uploaded the file to UPDF AI, it created an initial summary with sections you'd have in an academic work, like methods and conclusions. SuperA Software told me they designed UPDF AI for science and engineering fields first and foremost, to get the key points from text in these fields that can often get long and confusing. So let's bring another PDF into the software to see if the AI features can make this study on creatine more digestible. With just a few clicks, we get an instant summary that's much faster to read than the entire study, but still contains information from all the important sections. But let's go a step further than even that. You've probably noticed the UPDF AI panel kind of looks like an AI chatbot, and it does indeed provide chat functions. So taking things up a notch from just generating summaries, and going back to the iPad Air 5 video, I can ask UPDF AI, what's the screen size of the iPad Air 5? It's actually going to scan through the text and find the correct answer to give back to me. This could definitely be useful in a whole lot of different scenarios. Let's look at another example showing off the chat with PDF feature. I recently reviewed the Galaxy S24 Plus, and Samsung actually makes a PDF user manual for the S24 series for people that still read user manuals. But we can go ahead and pull that up and open it in UPDF and ask it some questions. Here I could ask AI chat, what are edge panels and how do I set up and use them? And it can scan through the PDF and find the relevant info to present to me. It does that effortlessly in seconds. And honestly, this is a great use of AI because it's not coming up with any new information that could be prone to hallucinating, but just searching through and rewording the text that you give it. Now let's talk about the translate feature. This does exactly what it sounds like and lets you translate text in PDF into other languages. That Galaxy S24 user manual we were just looking at is available in other languages, so let's go ahead and download the French version and open that up in UPDF. We'll jump to the section on the Galaxy S24's AI features for some AI-ception and select everything we want and hit translate. That'll give us an instant, accurate translation that you can probably see would be useful in a lot of situations. Moving on, there's the explain feature, a feature I must admit I'll be using a lot going forward. I downloaded a research paper as a PDF, and there's a few big words in here. Amalgamation, affable, provenance. But if I came across one of these while reading the paper, instead of having to open up a whole separate Google search, I could just select the word, click the UPDF AI button, then explain to get an instant definition. Affable, which I actually didn't know the definition of prior to this video, means friendly and approachable. Who knew? But this feature could of course work with more than just big words. Think medical terms, acronyms, organizations, or symbols. Now let's move out of AI features to talk about UPDF software as a whole. UPDF is a complete solution for working with PDFs, including all the basic functionality like viewing, editing, and annotating PDFs. You can read PDFs as a slideshow, add stickers, or even drag and drop rich text into a PDF when you're editing it. But beyond the basic stuff, there's advanced features like OCR for converting scanned PDFs into editable text. That's something Adobe Acrobat doesn't offer unless you get the Pro version, and UPDF offers it regardless of what version you get. There's a whole lot that's offered here. You can fill out forms, sign documents, organize pages, convert PDFs into other file formats, and for sensitive information, add passwords or redact info from PDFs. 
Finally, there's cloud storage included with every license of UPDF that goes all the way up to 100 gigabytes. I've done the research and looked around at other complete solutions for working with PDFs, and I can say UPDF is definitely competitive as far as pricing goes. It's also inarguably better value than leading softwares like Adobe Acrobat. Really, UPDF has the same basic functionality plus AI features of the big names, but at a fraction of the cost. That about wraps up the video, so let me know which AI feature you found the most useful in the comments down below. Subscribe for more quality tech videos, and I'll see you later.